Hi everyone, Mega Shorts here, bringing you my first Character Options Doctor Who 3.75 inch scale action figure review. Today I'm going to be bringing you a double review featuring the standard bronze Dalek from Wave 1 and the Imperial Guard Dalek variant, which is also from Wave 1 of this new line of figures by Character Options. I got these two figures last year from my local Toys R Us store for $6.99 each. Now the packaging for these new 3.75 inch figures is quite similar to that of some of the 5 inch new series figures we saw from Character Options as well. In the top left corner we can see a picture of the 11th Doctor's TARDIS and to the right of that we can see a circle which says Series 7 figure collection inside. Then below that you've got the figure in a clear round plastic bubble along with the card at the bottom which shows a Doctor Who logo and the name of the figure. And then on the back we can see pictures of all these standard figures from Wave 1. There's no pictures of the running change or rare variants or anything like that. And there's also some pictures of two play sets from Wave 1. Then at the bottom we've got the same usual products and company information. Okay, so here we have the Bronze and Imperial Guard Dalek figures from Wave 1. Now the Bronze Dalek on the left is a standard figure which was released with most of the other figures from Wave 1 back in late May of last year and the Imperial Guard Dalek figure is a running change variant which was released towards the end of October last year and um, what I mean by running change variant is a figure that has been made to replace the standard bronze Dalek figure in more recent batches of Wave 1. It's not a rare figure like the black Dalek variant which is also from Wave 1 and um, so you should be able to find this figure quite easily when it was first released it was quite difficult to find. I went into one of my local Tesco stores and there was only two of them on the shelves but when I went into my local Toys R Us store a, about three or four weeks ago there was at least six of them on one shelf so um, quite an easy figure to track down um, perhaps not as easy to find as the standard bronze Dalek figure yet but definitely not as hard to find as the other rare variants on Wave 1 which so far I've not even seen so yeah I wouldn't advise paying much for the Imperial Guard Dalek figure um, if you um, are looking for it at the moment because um, it should pretty much turn up anywhere that does sell these figures and like I said it's more of a running change figure than a rare variant. And these two figures are pretty much the same, they do use the exact same sculpt however you may have noticed some differences relating to the paintwork between them. We can see that the Imperial Guard Dalek figure has got a black dome instead of a standard bronze dome. The Imperial Guard Dalek figure does also have a much smaller pupil than the standard bronze Dalek which has quite a big light blue pupil. You may have noticed that the Imperial Guard Dalek's pupil is also a slightly darker shade of blue as well. The panels on the middle parts are also slightly different um, in terms of colour. The bronze Dalek figure has quite um, bright gold panels whereas the Imperial Guard Dalek figure has sort of very faded gold or light bronze panels. Other than that these two figures are pretty much the same, like I said they do use the exact same sculpt so they have got the exact same bits of detail which I'll show you very shortly. Um, I'm quite happy with these two figures. At first I was quite surprised to see a bronze Dalek in this line because even though the Paradigm Daleks haven't appeared alongside Matt Smith as much as these bronze Daleks, I do tend to associate the Paradigm Daleks more with Matt Smith. So um, at first I was a bit disappointed that we weren't getting the Paradigm Dalek figures in Wave 1, but I was quite happy to see these figures at the same time because um, I've been really pleased with the 5 inch bronze Dalek figures that Character Options have made over the years. Um, I was quite surprised that we got the Imperial Guard Dalek figure as a variant as well because unlike um, a lot of the other variants in Wave 1, this is more of a Series 1 figure than a Series 7 figure um, because I think the only story in which the Imperial Guard Daleks have appeared in in the new series is The Parting of the Ways which is the ninth Doctor's finale um, but I'm really happy to see the Imperial Guard Dalek figure in the line it's quite a nice simple variant, just a nice simple repaint of the other one really and just to give you an idea of the size of these two figures here they are alongside the 5 inch versions of them I don't have any rulers or measuring things on me at the moment, but I'd say they are at least two or three inches shorter. 
Now even though these Daleks are obviously much smaller than the five inch scale Dalek figures from the new series line of figures by character options, they still do feature pretty much all the same bits of detail that you'd expect to see on a bronze Dalek figure from the new series and I'm really happy about that. If we take a look at the head sculpt, we can see lots of lines going across the top of the dome. I know it's slightly out of focus, but you can just about see it there. There's also some more lines and screws just near the eye stalk, which features the silver bit here, then these transparent rings, which are just before this black part at the end where the pupil is. I have to say, I think the eye stalk on the Imperial Guard Dalek variant is much better. I think um, the pupil on this one is much more accurate. As I said before, I do prefer the blue they've used on this one and the smaller pupil just seems a lot better to me. It just seems much more accurate and also on the Imperial Guard Dalek we can see some rings surrounding the pupil as well. We can see some on the bronze Dalek figure but because the pupil is much bigger there's not so many of them. And below their eye stalks we can see these tiny rectangles which do usually feature a Dalek insignia. As you can see the 3.75 inch Dalek figures do not actually have this um, but I'm absolutely fine with them not having it because even on the 5 inch figures that was a tiny bit of detail and I wasn't really expecting to see it on these figures. Um, I honestly do not know how they could be able to put such a tiny piece of detail on such a tiny part of the sculpt. Um, even though it's not on there, I think it's really nice that they've at least done the rectangle underneath the eye stalk just to make the figure that extra bit more detailed and accurate. Then underneath there we can see the neck which is pretty basic. It's got some really nice black mesh on it and it's also got the screws which put all the pieces of the neck together. Then beneath that we can see these panels just near the weapons which on the standard bronze Dalek are quite a strong gold as I said before. They are pretty nice. They do feature some screws as well which were silver on the 5 inch Dalek figures but as you can see on this they are just gold but um, I think that's absolutely fine. As you can see there's quite a good number of them. Here's the Imperial Guard Dalek figure so you can get an idea of how they are different. Um, on the camera they do look pretty much the same to me but through my own eyes it is quite clear that they are painted with different colours. The panels on this one are pretty much just the same as the um, colour that was used for the rest of the body but it's quite clear that they stand out on this one. Then you've also got the weapons which are quite similar to the weapons we saw on the 5 inch um, bronze Dalek figures. They've got all the same bits of detail. There's some nice detail amongst the plunger and then you've got the exterminator arm as I like to call it here as well. Uh, I don't think there's any differences between these on these two variants. No, not really. Um, as some of you may already know, some of the Imperial Guard Dalek figures or Imperial Guard Daleks in Parting of the Ways did have other weapons which replaced the standard exterminator arm but not all of them in that episode did have those. Some of them were just like this with the standard Dalek weaponry um, but I am fine with it just being standard as it is here. And then below that you've got some gold spheres which uh, don't really have much to them really. Um, all painted very well like most of the other parts of the figure. Some of the gold paint has slipped off on some places but that's just a basic quality control issue that's probably um, just an individual problem for my figure really. I'm sure there are others out there like this but it's, it's not too bad. Um, most of them are painted really well. And then at the bottom you've got this base which um, is just painted black. You can see some screws on there as well. On some of the 5 inch bronze Dalek figures they were painted silver but on others of them they were just black. Um, another nice bit of detail to make the figure just that extra bit more accurate and um, detailed as well. It um, would have been nice if they painted them silver but I am fine with them just being black because I think the screws have been black in some of the stories in which these have appeared as well. And like the 5 inch new series Dalek figures they do have wheels at the bottom so they can go backwards and forwards quite well and turn around on smooth surfaces like paper and laminate floors. So for detail these two figures are pretty good. They've got some really nice paintwork as well. Like I said earlier on they have pretty much got all the same bits of detail from the original 5 inch new series Dalek figures from character options so if you were one of those people who was a bit worried about 
these figures not having as much detail as the original 5 inch figures, um, you don't need to worry about that with these two figures. These figures to me just look like mini versions of the 5 inch Dalek figures and to me that is brilliant. Um, one thing that I didn't mention about these Daleks is that they do seem to have a much darker bronze than the other bronze Daleks we've seen from Capture Options and I think this is a really good thing. On some of the quite recent new series Dalek figures, like the one from Wave 1 of the Sound Effects Daleks, the bronze of the body was pretty much exactly the same as the bronze on the spheres at the bottom here, um, but in the stories in which they're featured, um, it's quite clear that they are different shades of bronze, like the, most of the body is dark and then the spheres are much lighter as they are on these figures. So I'm glad they've updated the paint work a bit for these two figures. Um, they do look really nice like this. The articulation of these figures is also the same as that of the 5 inch new series Dalek figures. Their heads can turn a full 360 degrees. Their eye stalks can also move up and down and their weapons are on ball joints so they can face in all sorts of different directions. You can twist them around like that and move them up and down pretty well as well. And like I said before, they've got the wheels at the bottom so they can move backs and forwards quite nicely as well. So the articulation on these two figures is also pretty good. The joints move very well. I've not had any problems with them whatsoever. I've not had to put them in the fridge or freezer or anything to make them move a bit more smoothly and this does make them quite good for recreating your favourite scenes in which these Daleks were involved and also very good for stop motion animations as well because the joints move so smoothly. I um, don't think the articulation needs any improvements at all. I think it would be quite cool if one day we do get one that's got a joint on this part of the chest here because in the 2005 story Dalek um, one of the Daleks, well the only Dalek in that story, was actually able to turn that part of the body around so it could exterminate quite a few people at the same time. Um, so yeah, that would be quite cool to see that. We've not seen that on any of the 5 inch Dalek figures in the past so I don't really mind if it isn't actually included but it would be cool if that did happen. So yeah, that's it for the articulation and now I'm going to give you a summary of my thoughts on these two figures. And overall, I think these two Dalek figures are excellent additions to my Doctor Who 3.75 inch scale action figure collection. I'm really, really happy with these two figures. They've got all the same bits of detail from the new series 5 inch Dalek figures. They've also got some excellent paintwork and really nice articulation as well. I'd highly recommend them to anyone that collected the 5 inch new series Dalek figures and anyone that is a fan of the new series of Doctor Who as well. As I said before, I'm really happy that Character have given us a Imperial Guard Dalek variant, even though this is more of a Series 7 figure collection rather than an entire new series figure collection. Um, if they bring out a Ninth Doctor figure, it would be really nice to have this figure alongside him. Um, don't have many gripes with these two figures. Um, I just wish the standard Bronze Dalek had an eye stalk more like that of the Imperial Guard Dalek as this has the much more accurate eye stalk out of the two in my opinion with that smaller pupil and also that slightly darker pupil as well. If I was to give the standard Bronze Dalek figure a rating out of 10 I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Excellent figure but like I said before I would have liked the eye stalk if it was a bit more like that of the Imperial Guard Dalek which I'd quite happily give a 10 out of 10. Okay, that is pretty much it for my review of these two figures. Not sure which 3.75 inch figure I'm going to review next. Maybe the Ice Warrior, maybe Clara. Not sure yet, but I will let you know sometime soon. Thanks for watching this review, guys, and I will see you again soon.